Abstract.com here and today we're taking a look at iFile Browser for iPhone. iFile Browser is uh, a comprehensive browser for files on the iPhone, lets you manage uh, folder hierarchies, uh, different types of files, uh, documents, Excel spreadsheets, and th things like that. So essentially you have two, uh, two sides to this and on the left you get to choose where these files are coming from you could choose from a local system uh, you could connect to Dropbox you could browse uh, the web and there's also things like uh, active downloads Wi-Fi and you could even connect to web dev servers so let's uh, just have a look at our local system uh, you can see now that we have the local tab open if we were to for example open up a browser it would uh, bring it up in a new tab instead of uh, the current tab so we could always switch back and forth between uh, the web tab and the local tab and there's two selection styles that you'll uh, primarily use here uh, both of them are and you could select both of them using the segment control over here so just tap uh, the pointer finger to uh, go into directories and open up files uh, so if you just uh, tap it, it will open it up and you could close it. But if you select the check mark, which is uh, the selection tool, you'll be able to select files, uh, cut them, copy them, and paste them. You could also select, unselect all, and quickly uh, get, what you, uh, get what you need. So if we jump into sample files, you could see that uh, this application handles various types like mp3s, docs, uh, spreadsheets, plain text files, and PDFs. So you could open up a PDF. Uh, there's different annotation options here. Um, it, it's actually quite complex. So uh, you have similar features for a document as well, uh, where you could print it, email it, you could even edit text. So we could perhaps underline that and maybe do something like that and if we close it we could always save changes or discard changes uh, so let's just say save and we'll close this tab as well and you could also import photos and create folders and create text files uh, just to quickly show you how to manage the actual file system you could uh, press here for a new folder call it a new folder you could also go into that folder and maybe create a file, call it new text file. You could also tap on the file and we'll say cut or maybe copy and then we could even paste the file and that will essentially duplicate it uh, and that's pretty much it. So there's also uh, various sorting options. Let's select the pointer and go into the sample files and we could sort by name, size, date, up and down, and type of file up and down as well. There's also a different view. You could use uh, the, the, the thumbnail view and the list view, uh, depending on what you like. And it also shows you a quick navigation down here. It's kind of like the breadcrumbs. You could always go back to the root. And uh, if you're in more folders, uh, let's go into photos you'll see that it basically shows you the path where you're at and uh, that's basically how you manage files and documents with I iFile browser for iPhone uh, it's a pretty cool app go ahead and check it out on the app store